Oh my God, I'm so happy to be with you guys. Happy Friday. So my lesson of the week came this morning, courtesy of my husband, Oscar. I went to bed really late last night. My amazing mods can probably attest to that. It was like three-ish, four in the morning when I texted and I'm like, I'm going live. And so I had set my alarm to wake up at a certain time to prepare to get ready. I had to blow dry my hair. Like I had a whole process planned this morning. My beautiful, gorgeous husband comes into the room because he woke up early and he decides to wake me up. No, 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 no. You know me better. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't wake me up before my alarm goes off if it doesn't need to happen. So he came in going, I need you to do something. We're doing this today. And I'm like, we can't do that today because this, this, and this needs to happen before we could do that. And that isn't happening in the next hour. And I got to get ready for my Friday. So I'm not able to do that. So I have this really stretched out, beautiful morning routine. Y'all, morning routine. I don't like it to be interrupted. I don't like it to be derailed. And guess what? My husband did both. He interrupted and derailed my morning routine. So I came in here, show and tell today. Today is show and tell. So when I wake up in the morning, I have my cute little basket that sits next to my bed and i have my like meditation rocks i'm gonna show you what i do in the morning right so this is part like wake up with me type of thing but not really the lesson is coming i promise so i have my four <laughs> meditation rocks that i use in the morning right and i do that and then i have my special pen that i write in my journals with i have like my mints in there my all my like chapstick i have like a morning little like basket that i have to like even travel with okay then i use my rollers oh my god i have makeup on i shouldn't do this now but these oh my god they wake me up they're so amazing oh i can roll here i love it this is like my morning like oh my gosh and then I do a gua sha you guys know gua sha you guys the boys are probably like what the heck but even boys can do this because it's amazing so it's these like very special beautiful I want to say Japanese like jade or rose quartz or whatever I have like three and then I just like just use the cold stones on my skin and it like wakes me up it depuffs me <laughs> i just love it right so this is all part of my morning routine and i have my lemon water in the morning i didn't bring my cup for that but then i have my energy like aminos and then i do my yoga like it's a stretched out morning and that's why i give myself like two hours before i do anything because i really love my routine in the morning so just to let you know that this is what was being interrupted so i'm like okay my husband needs me i am gonna go see how i can help so i wake up morning routine interrupted and I go to my husband, honey, what is it that I can help you with? He's like, no, it's okay. I decided that we can't do it today because we got to do this, this, and this first. So we'll wait till next week. I'm like, you interrupted my morning for no reason, honey. Do you note the sarcasm? I was like, I was living. I was like, no, he didn't just do that, right? And I was dreaming so good. Oh my God, that's another thing. During certain times, I write my dreams because they're telling and they're, they, they give me information. So all of this didn't happen because he interrupted my morning. So I was like, okay, I am going to make a very conscious decision. I am going to choose not to react to my beautiful husband in the manner that I would have 10 years ago. 10 years ago, Jovan, I would have been like, Arr! and I would have been pissed, and it would have ruined my day. And I would have let him know it ruined my day. I would have been so upset, so cranky. I would have been like, my morning is ruined. My day is going to suck. It's going to be an awful day because I didn't do my morning the way I want to do my morning, right? That would have been 10 years ago, Giovanna. Today, present day, Giovanna, I was like, you know what? I have an opportunity to change my routine. I'm going to do something different, right? So I reallocated my morning and I still did most of my little things. It ended up being a beautiful morning. And I was like, oh my gosh, I 
had to choose how I wanted to react to the interruption to my day. I had to make the conscious decision to not permit anyone or anything ruin the beautiful, peaceful, joyful day I had intended to have for myself. And no, we cannot control our emotions. I was annoyed. I was frustrated. I was perhaps angry. I was perhaps kind of like, but I can choose the way I respond. And I responded with love and and self-acceptance and acceptance towards him. And I ended up having a different but lovely morning nonetheless. It hasn't ruined my day. On the contrary, it proved to me that I have evolved and come so far from where I used to be. And the lesson in it of it all, and I hope you got the little sprinkles throughout, is that you make a decision as to how you want to show up in the world. You cannot control your emotions. You are entitled and it's understandable when you respond or feel rather when you feel anger or frustration or annoyance you can't control that you're justified because those are your feelings who am I to say that you can't feel that way or I can't feel that way but we can choose how we respond whether it's to a circumstance to a thing happening or to someone right so I say this because so many of us permit our day to not like click back because we're like I spilled the coffee I that's the rest of my day is ruined I am late to work I and we sit and wallow in all these like negative like things when we could be like oh I spilled my coffee oh that sucks I don't have time to change it okay I'll throw a jacket over it I spilled my coffee oh that bites Okay, I'll treat myself to a Starbucks later. You know, like, how can we reframe anything and everything that happens so that we do not permit things to derail our joy and our satisfaction and our gratification and our contribution to the world that needs to be positive and and, and move the earth forward versus permitting our negative energy to derail the forward movement of the world and whoever we encounter on that particular day so full circle i had no idea this was gonna like come back to it but it's full circle we are here to make this earth better to make others better and we can only do that when we show our best self and that best self is not reacting and responding to xyz that derailed us it's reframing it and going that's one morning my morning routine is thrown off but i'm gonna do something different all right what else can i try what else can i incorporate what else can i do now right so I really, really, really want us to remember this because it's not if, it's when somebody gets in your face and it's like, oh, you are a lazy B-I-T-C-H. Oh, really? Are you okay? Why would you say that? I'll let you calm down and, and I'll come back when maybe you're in a better mood. And it's the sort of thing where when we go high, how does it go? We go high when they go low. They go low, we go high. Whatever, okay? We're going to super pass anything that happens around us because we're not going to permit it to affect us negatively because we're going to reframe it and learn from it and be like, bravo, I did good. I learned. Now I'm ready for whatever next lesson (laughs) is meant to come my way. Because you know when you graduate, you get another lesson. So how that's landing with you and how you can incorporate it in your own day-to-day or moment-to-moment because you know it can happen at any moment. It ain't just in the morning, you know that. Somebody could be driving and be like, honk, and you're like, I didn't do anything. They might be late. They need to get to where they got to go. Let them by. I'm going to continue to listen to my music. Oh, yeah. Reunited and it feels so good. I mean, what am I going to do? Start cursing back? Ten years ago, Giovanna. (laughs) That would have been yes. (laughs) But I want to invite you to, to, to laugh a little more in life and to let things roll off your back a little more and, 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 and congratulate yourself every time you do. Cause it's big. It's huge. 
It's amazing. <laughs> All right, my loves. I think I got to the bottom here. You guys are amazing. Oh my gosh. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Yay. Happy Saturday. If you're on the other side of the world. And as well, happy Halloween if you're celebrating it in the US. Big love. Love you all. Happy Friday. You guys are the best. And I'm so grateful for you. So go out there and be amazing. Stay light and bright. Lead the way. The world needs you, my loves. The world needs you. Bye for now. Just for now. Enjoy your weekend. So if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel, so keep watching.